with your CIG TV News Brief on this Thursday. On Wednesday this week, Premier and Minister for Sustainability and Climate Resiliency, the Honorable Wayne Panton, took to the stage as the keynote speaker at the Caribbean Renewable Energy Forum held in Miami, Florida. Premier Panton announced a major policy shift in the Cayman Islands' progress towards meeting for exceeding the goal of 70% uh, of electricity generation coming from renewable sources by 2037. He says going forward, the government intends to have a majority ownership stake in the country's future utility-scale renewable energy infrastructure. At the 14th annual CREFT conference, the Honorable Premier joined a number of other Caribbean heads of states and ministers, renewable energy specialists, regional utilities, finance and institutions, and NGOs to discuss a range of topics. These include the development of resilient and renewable energy in the Caribbean and putting clean energy front and center, both as a national and regional priority, just to name a few. Now, to read more about the Premier, Premier Panton's announcement on the policy decision, we encourage you to go online to gov.ky and click on the All News icon. Mr. Panton, of course, was joined by members of his ministry team and others from the industry. Well, the Department of Education Services has announced that the written portion of the 2022 Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate, or CSEC, examinations will uh, commence on the 23rd of May, three weeks after the original uh, start date of May the 2nd. Now, the decision was revealed by the Caribbean Examination Council on Wednesday this week, following a special emergency meeting with regional governments to discuss the timing of the 2022 sitting of the examination. The recent changes to the administration of the 2022 Caribbean Secondary Education Certificate examinations are likely to affect some of our students seeking matriculation into higher educational institutions. Nevertheless, we will await specific details on the changes from the CXC, then endeavor to meet with the stakeholders in the coming weeks to ascertain how best we can lessen any impact these changes may have on our students. Mr. Ray, who attended the virtual meeting, noted the council has not yet provided all the specific details. However, as he just said, his team will notify parents, students and teachers of the outcomes once more details become available. Speaking of education, the deadline to get in local scholarship applications is this weekend, the 30th of April. The scholarships are for the 2022 to 2023 academic year and education officials are asking those students who are interested to not miss the application deadline. For more details, you can visit moescholarships.gov.ky. Great news for swimmers from local schools, the Aquatic Sports Association, national swim teams, the public, and those in the Learn to Swim program at the Lions Aquatic Center. A pool chiller has been purchased as we head into the hotter summer months. Director of the Sports Department, Kurt Hydes, explains more. During the hot summer months, uh, the pool can considerably heat up um, and this pretty much it, it'll rob performance from the athletes when they're training. It, it almost creates a fatigue in the athletes that they can't get that full time training session um, and it doesn't really help with the recovery issue either. So by having a pool chiller, what it does is actually the, the pool circuit runs through this chiller and it cools the water down, goes back into the pool and brings lowers the temperature to a more comfortable temperature and one that fosters performance and, and it can enhance the training of these athletes. And it's an overall more pleasurable experience at the pool when it's at a cooler temperature. The idea for the pool chiller came from president of the Cayman Islands Aquatic Sports Association, who held discussions with the sports department about the important piece of equipment. Mr. Hyde says it is these types of partnerships they look forward to having. Turning now to our weather forecast tonight, you can expect partly cloudy skies with a small chance of showers. For your boaters, seas will be slight to moderate with wave heights of two to four feet. The outlook for the next two days is for similar weather conditions through to Saturday afternoon. Now the synopsis calls for moderate easterly winds and seas which are expected across our area for the next 24 hours as that high pressure system moves over the eastern United States. Satellite images show isolated cl low clouds over the Cayman Islands area that are moving towards the west. A reminder for the latest unexpected local weather conditions, you can go online to weather.gov.ky. And that's it for today's news brief here on CIG Television. I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining us, wishing you a safe and wonderful night, and inviting you back here again tomorrow. Until then, bye-bye for now.